So after days of searching Facebook and Craigslist for a cheap Nintendo DS in my area with no luck, I decided to take to eBay. It says apple cider on the box, that's definitely not what I ordered. I wanted to get a Nintendo DS, not just the light, but one of the old ones in its purest form, so I decided to shoot this guy an offer, he accepted, and I got this for about 13 bucks after shipping it was about 20 something? Believe it or not, these really old Nintendo DS's seem to be harder to find. On GameStop, these original fat Nintendo DS's are going for 35 bucks, but I couldn't even get it online. And there were zero available in any GameStops in my area. And if you look on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, you can just forget about it. Nobody's got anything but the light ones and the DSi XLs. There wasn't a lot of pictures or description on this listing, but he did say it was tested working, and I don't think you can really go wrong for 13 bucks. And that's why I'm a fucking idiot. So we're just gonna go ahead and dig into here and see what the condition looks like. Thank you for that. I'm gonna keep that right here in the corner. This video is not sponsored by Kroger Red Beans, but if you guys wanna hit me up, my Twitter's in the description. How the fuck do you open this box? There's two cuts here, so you would think, oh, maybe it's one of those things that pull open. But on the bottom, there's no- Oh, I see, it does do that, so I gotta cut these corners. All right, big reveal. Here we go. And the packaging is really nice. Everything was really tight. Maybe I shouldn't slice through the charger packaging with a box cutter. Not the smartest thing I've ever done. I mean, it's a charger. What do you want? Everything looks like it's in order. Okay, we got the stylus just kind of taped onto the side there, but it does come with a stylus. If it looks like I'm just kind of prodding away at this, it's because this box cutter's fucking terrible. I've had this for like four years when I worked at Target. Big props to the seller. He did a really good job of packaging this thing. Well, it turns out looks are pretty fucking deceiving. If this thing's actually in decent condition, I'm gonna be surprised because I think with these being harder to find and with this being basically the oldest Nintendo DS model, I mean, these things get trashed, the hinges break, the screens get scratched, so I mean, I'm going into this with pretty low expectations, especially since I got this for 13 bucks, but... And there's definitely some scratching around the console. I don't know if you guys can see that here, but it looks like some kind of sticky tape residue. Not a big deal. Shoulder buttons seem to work. Oh, came with a copy of Nintendogs. That's pretty sweet. I was actually thinking of buying that game for the meme. meme. I just realized the stylus doesn't fit. That's why it was on the side. It's longer than the, okay. Okay, and okay, yeah, that's an issue. As you can see, the hinge is just straight fucking broken. He didn't mention that. A uh, piece of plastic just fell off. Um, yeah, that's not great. I mean, I legitimately just tried to open this thing up normally and the hinge just, yeah. Buttons feel okay, powering up. And I mean, technically it comes on, but I don't know if you guys can really see this in the video, but there's definitely some kind of weird glitchiness about the screen. Technically with the hinge even being broken, you could play it like this, but there's this weird uh, red and blue artifacting on the screens. It's not great. Okay, I tried to load the game and we got a, just a plain white screen. Oh. Here's a little piece of plastic that flew off of the console when I tried to open it up. So I got Mario loaded up here, and I mean, you can clearly see that there's something going on with the screen here. It's really hard to show you guys through the webcam here, but as you can clearly see, if you look in this corner, remnants of like what should be on the bottom screen showing up on the top display. Like on video, it doesn't look too bad, but if you look really closely, the two screens are meshing together. Well. There it is. I guess I'm gonna contact the buyer and see if there's any way I can get a refund or a partial refund or something going on with this because <laughs> obviously none of that was mentioned in the description. I mean, even with the hinge being broken, I may be able to forgive it because it's kind of still playable. It doesn't move around too much like the DS Lite. I don't know too much about Nintendo DS's. I guess I'll have to do some research and see how hard it would be to fix something like that myself, but yeah. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, even though I only paid 20 bucks, I mean, that's 20 bucks I could have put towards a working DS. I bought some games that I was gonna show some gameplay of to include with this video, but I mean, this is just not playable. I spent like three times more money on the games than I did on the actual DS, which is really disappointing. I guess this is just a uh, buyer beware when you go on eBay. If they have a small description and like one or two pictures, you should definitely be cautious. I mean, I was, but I was willing to take the risk and clearly the risk wasn't worth 
worth it. Just be careful when you're on eBay. Fast forward about a week since I recorded this video, the seller actually gave me a partial refund today. So not all is lost. I might try to sell this off, recoup my losses, but I did pick up a new 2DS XL. So if you guys want to see me do anything with that, let me know in the comments. I could still cover those games I bought because I actually spent a lot of damn money on DS games. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, consider supporting my Patreon or at the very least start a conversation in the comments, like the video, start a discussion over this if this is something that interests you, and maybe I'll see you on the next video. It's been T, and I'm kind of stupid.